All right, welcome back everyone. Glad you could join us. I thought today we would start out by doing a little bit of an arts and crafts project. And uh, I like going on Pinterest and looking at ideas for around the property and uh, watching other people make incredible things. So I thought, hey, I came across this one street vendor, and I'm sure there's others, uh, making t-shirts from the manhole covers from different cities around the world. Just uh, rubbing ink on there and then putting the shirt down and rubbing the shirt on it and coming up with a half decent looking shirt. So I thought that was pretty neat. And I just happened to have a whole bunch of manhole covers from a project that my son was working on. And uh, I thought, let's give that a try today. I had a couple of t-shirts and a little bit of fabric paint. And I thought, let's make ourselves a t-shirt. So glad you could join us. And we hope that you enjoy this video. And let's get started on showing you how we got this done. So this is going to be used as our uh, template for making our t-shirt. My son was working for a landscape company where they were refurbishing some uh, campgrounds and uh, they were going to scrap these. So I picked up a couple of these or asked him to pick them up. I thought they were pretty neat. We're going to use one for another project down the road here on the property, but I thought, hey, let's make a t-shirt. So last year we had such a problem with wasps and here's the reason why as I was picking out this manhole cover lifted it up and found another wasp nest that uh, contributed to the problem last year but I think I'm up to about 18 so hopefully this year's better so I think step one is we're going to brush this off and get it reasonably clean I think we can only use about uh, half of this manhole cover so we're obviously going to pick the right hand half and of course the image will be mirrored on the t-shirt because there's nothing you can do about that I still think it'll be pretty neat got it uh, brushed off and uh, washed it down with a bit of paint thinner we'll let that dry and then we'll prepare the shirt okay well looks like the mouse patrol is checking in for the day so I picked these t-shirts up at Michael's oh, several years ago for a different project which got uh, put on the shelf or actually forgotten about and uh, I think I paid around five to six dollars a piece for these things so I thought that was pretty good value and I also picked up this uh, fabric paint uh, black so hopefully this all comes together but uh, the next step is we're going to cut a piece of cardboard to approximately fit and stretch the t-shirts okay so I've got a piece of cardboard cut we'll probably turn it over and then tighten it and tape it on the back a little bit but uh, I think overall you don't want to stretch it too much I'm guessing otherwise uh, it'll distort the image on the front just so that it's uh, at least flat I'm guessing is probably the best way to do it so next we're going to cut a piece of cardboard and just stretch some of the cloth over there and give that a try first to see if this is actually going to work. Okay, we've got our sample. I just uh, roughly put it on, stretched it a little bit. It's just an old uh, cotton rag. We've got our tray, little paint roller, and today we're going to be using this uh, fabric paint. Now I don't know if this is the right stuff or not, but uh, I picked this up a long time ago. Give it a, gave it a good shake and uh, we're going to try just this little area here we'll do the Banff section put it on and then roll it with the laminate roller and see how it turns out Okay, well I think the sample worked out okay. The one thing that I think might be a problem is the corrugated uh, cardboard. Uh, so I might have to think about something different, but we're going to try it on a shirt. And uh, so I've done the same thing. I've kind of uh, taped the arms behind there. I didn't pull it too tight because I don't want the image to be distorted. 
and I think I have to use quite a bit more ink or paint. So I put a piece of tape about halfway because I'm thinking that uh, that would probably look the best. We'll ink up that whole half as much as possible and uh, then I'll peel the tape off, lay the shirt down and roll it out. All right, well, test number one. I think uh, cutting the uh, design in half was a mistake, so I think the next shirt we're gonna do, we're gonna do one more, I've got two shirts, and I'm just gonna paint the whole thing and uh, put it on wherever it may lay, and we'll try and get the Banff National Park in as much as possible, and then whatever comes on the rest of the shirt, I guess, is bonus. But I think it's not a bad little project. I think it turned out okay. I don't know how color fast this uh, fabric paint is, but we're going to find out. Okay, so I think the second attempt with the full manhole cover turned out better than the half manhole cover. Uh, yeah, you need a fair amount of fabric paint for this. I think you have to slop it on. Uh, not too much, of course, that it uh, bleeds into the fabric, but uh, this looks like it's uh, kind of worn a couple of times, a little thin in spots, but overall kind of a neat result. I think the placement on the shirt, you can see I got the cuff there at the neck a little bit, but uh, not a big deal. You know, it's gonna probably be a work shirt and uh, kind of a neat result. So happy with that, kind of a fun project. Well, two t-shirts and we have the half manhole cover, which I think looks half as good as the full manhole cover. I think they both turned out okay, but uh, yeah, lesson learned. We're gonna just do the full manhole cover for future t-shirts if anybody wants one. And uh, yeah, kind of a fun project. And if you enjoyed this video, we would love it if you would join us again, of course, and subscribe and like and share. We'll see you on the next video. Thanks for watching.